los niños. Vamos a dormir. Vamos a dormir. Inés. Let, let me explain. I was 16. Awkward. Geeky. Living alone with mom and dad in a new area. And during the time Jimmy Carter was president of the Clinton created summer jobs program. lack of a better term, at risk, and I guess it meant that description because I was always knew that John was going back to help me with central health. And the decent job was walking distance from my from my home, walking distance from my high school. It was just a summer job. That's how long it had lasted for three years. The, the, the job involved me walking from my home to this school. As I would walk into the door of this preschool, the head teacher, the only teacher in this lounge, would walk out the door. And so in the room, there were 20, two and a half to five year olds, both 70s. <laughs> so it was me, two and a half to five year old kids, just sitting there with me. So, so I think the first week, Carlos, there was Eduardo, there was Sonia, that's my young lady, to help me. The, the second week, the best I could do, we learned how to, how to play, and we would play, we play everything, but managed to play with whatever we had in that room. And, and when we were through playing, we would read, and when I read every book in the classroom, we would make up stories, we'd sit on the floor, we'd sit on the carpet, we'd make up stories, we'd play to exhaustion. By the third week, they, they got to know me a little bit. I, Inez referred to me as Eddie, and she rhymed Eddie Spaghetti. Hey, Peter, witty as he is, finished that rhyme, Eddie Spaghetti, your meatballs are ready. And so they created a song, Eddie Spaghetti, your meatballs are ready. So my day involved walking into the school, Ms. Lawrence would walk out, and I'd walk into the classroom with 20 kids who would begin to sing, and and he's big and and it was obnoxious. I did it all the way. I was gone and we walked into the school. And the only way that I could get them to stop singing that song was to grab a book to tell a story and start to play to the point of exhaustion. It was the greatest fun of my job. At the end of the day, we did four quarters. I would tell the kids, Vamos a dormir los niños. I said, let's go to sleep. We would play to the point of exhaustion. They would almost be like, oh, let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Get your mats. They'd get their empty mats. They'd create a circle. And I would get them all to go to sleep on one condition. They'd create a circle and I'd rub their mat on one pillow as if there's something in their ear. They didn't need to hear the dead plants or the noise of the wind. And I would let them all feel to the full point. One of us would keep asleep by the time Ms. Lawrence returned. There was a day, there was a day, there was a day that, that changed my whole life. I was standing in the room when I was cleaning up peanut butter and, and crackers and I was sweeping, and Miss Lawrence was in the room. And Inez's mother walked in. And she was animated. And she was talking, and I didn't understand what she was saying. She was speaking Spanish. She was so animated. And I could just overhear. And Miss Lawrence would look at me, and she'd talk back to Inez's mother, and she'd look at So I walked over just to try and hear, and I said, what happened to Inez and Islam? And then I thought, maybe I've done something wrong. Maybe I'm wrong this time, but I've done something wrong. And I just went, Islam just puts her hands on my shoulders, and she says, you know, Eddie, you know that Inez doesn't speak. And I said, what happened to Inez? Just tell me what happened to Inez. Tell me if I've done something wrong. She said, Eddie, listen to me. Inez doesn't speak. She would open the door and say, 
And I said, well, that would be me. I don't know if I'm going to see you. And I'm not sure how much you can relate to what I'm doing today. But this is the point. 16, 17, 18. Thank you. 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 Thank you.